Australia's losses from the tragedy have increased with confirmation a Victorian family of five was also on board the doomed flight. The death toll now stands at 28 Australians and another eight permanent residents who called this country home. As they shot down MH17, separatists were recorded saying there must have been spies on board. But the Vanderhens weren't spies. Mum and Dad and three children were returning from a family holiday. For Grandma waiting for their arrival, the news was too much to bear. Three kids. Are they in their teenage years? Fifteen children. Roger and Jill Gard weren't spies either. They were doctors from Toowoomba, volunteers. Paul and Amanda's parents, little Ella's grandparents. We're just going to miss mum so much and dad because um, mum's the best grandma in the world and she was really looking forward to seeing Ella walk for the first time. Today, people across the country gathered to pray for victims like sister Philomena, who spent her life praying for others. They're asking today uh, why something as terrible as this has to happen to someone so special in our community. And teacher Emma Bell, who chose to start her career in the outback. Wayne and Teresa Baker chose to celebrate their retirement with a holiday to Europe. They leave behind two sons and Teresa's heartbroken elderly parents. She was a great daughter. We had a lot of good holidays together and she was a good mother to the two boys. Michael and Carol Clancy from Wollongong also retirees, were on their dream holiday. It's just a sad, sad thing to know that somebody who lives close by can just, just lose their life in an instant like that. Howard and Susan Horder joked about not coming back before jetting off. Today, loved ones left flowers on the doorstep of their Brisbane home. I hope you see Howard or Susan at the front tending, tending to the yard, but it's not to be. George Burroughs lost his son and daughter-in-law on MH370. His stepdaughter was on MH17. Just about impossible, but it happened. <laughs> We're getting used to it, I guess. 25-year-old Jack O'Brien was returning from a seven-week European holiday. A union of sorrow from across the Commonwealth of States, a country in mourning. Sally Barker, Nine News.